Hello everybody, Smith here. Welcome back to some more BDR. Just a very quick one today as my uh, recording time is severely constrained and uh, in the background you can see a quick rocket plane I threw together because I was thinking about rocket planes, more specifically rocket fighters. I mean the most famous example was like the ME-163, uh, it was made towards the end of the Second World War. But they never really caught on for the reason that, you know, you got fan phenomenal thrust, phenomenal performance, but as quickly as it starts, it's all over. The price you pay for this level of performance is an almost complete lack of stamina, and yes, I'm aware that the number of potential innuendos in this opening segment are rising rapidly, and... Oh god, there's another one. Um, anyway, yes, but I thought, well, what if there was a form of air-to-air -air combat where this high-thrust, low-stamina was kind of the point? In fact, what if you took that to the extremes, and then I had what must be, in a pretty competitive field, my dumbest idea yet. So I call this ballistic jousting, or parabolic jousting, take your pick, and it involves two of these jousters sort of facing each other slightly offset at opposite ends, kind of towards opposite ends of the runway. And it's very simple, I've enabled both their engines, so we uh, we enable the autopilot. All the uh, reaction wheels are turned off, so they have no choice but to follow a parabolic arc, and once the engines are turned off, we just enable guns, and yes, Adam Kerman is the winner, Ben Kerman is toast. Um, Adam Kerman's probably going to join him. I don't have any way to slow these things down so they'll survive. <laughs> ah. Right. Hmm. Should probably do that. One more time then, this time hopefully with the victor having some time to celebrate afterwards. Or indeed do pretty much anything. Here we go. Oh, gunfire's going in. Oh, and it's victory for Ghosty Kerman. And now we can just pop the chute. Let's wait till we get a little closer. That might be a little too close. And he'll just float down to the ground. Did take a little bit of damage, but um, at least he's alive. One out of three ain't bad. But uh, what else can we do with this? Well, let's start with some different weapons. Uh, what do we have? Yeah, the Vulcan turret. I think I've got the wrong ammo on here, but I hopefully, um, hopefully infinite ammo should take care of that. Okay all the way up and then the moment that's gone and hopefully as they passed each other should do pretty much right at the zenith oh no okay this needs adjusting oh too light <laughs> they both died <laughs> <sighs> Maybe forward facing will be better than um, than sideways facing for these things. Okay. And get the guns going. Okay, that's better. That's better. And they're about to come for a close pass. Oh, beautiful. Oh no, he's, he's, he's still alive. He's still alive. He's still alive, but not for much longer. <laughs> oh, Steak Kerman. I think I'm going to have to leave it there because uh, I thought about doing some of the other turrets, but they're a lot weightier, so I'm going to have to just adjust this whole thing. And as I said, this is just meant to be a quick run to show you. Yeah. I think it might be my dumbest idea ever. What do you think? And also, what else do you think I should do next with these things, if anything? But that will be all, will be all for today. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have and you haven't already, please consider liking, subscribing, uh, following me on Twitter. Maybe getting involved with the Discord, Great BD Army and KSP community on there and more besides. All those links in the description, as are links to the PayPal and the Patreon. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal like Watermelon Kerman here. <laughs> one of one of three survivors. The two that survived those fights and the one I didn't use. Um... Yes, as well as the name at the end of the video is access to the uh, Patreon and Discord, access to anything I've posted on Patreon, and all your very, very kind pledges go to Walt, helping me make more and better content for you guys. Um, I will be back soon with some, hopefully, higher quality PD Armory, but until then, thanks for watching, take care, and I'll see you next time.